Mwali 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 Pastor Vogema, I'm a Nino's of Teka Teka, Abayimbi, Nabari no Kuimba. What would you have your ketchup? Muchi Manejo, Oria Kurembera, Quiet, the leader of the conducting a quiet, Koranga, the choir. I don't know about that. A church of Ita orchestration. Cut on now, God. God orchestrates a grand finale. Katonda teka teka na tendeka akamadirizo kensonga. Anti ulira. Pharaoh calls for Joseph. Falao na tumia Yusuf. Echo chitegeza. Now that means emisango jeba amolopa. All the offenses that were levied against him. Teri agenda jiko miyao. Nobody shall follow them anymore. If he was jailed for rape, the Pharaoh commands Joseph to be released. Now, Potiphar's offenses can never work on Joseph. Potiphar. And he is not brought to be taken back to Potiphar's house. He is released to be brought before Pharaoh. Yusuf. Joseph. Is released from jail. And then they wondered how his appearance shall be like before the king. He had to be taken to a saloon. <laughs> he has to go to the saloon first. Joseph is not mad. He knows that if you are called to be killed, there is no way you go up. You are killed under. But the voice coming from above. The Inmate number so and so. Joseph. Joseph is your name. Vayo. Come out. That voice. Does not take you. That voice calls you. Telling you the purpose of God for your has come to pass today. Which kind of man is taken to be shaved? They clothed him. And to be clothed before they shower. See, God starts by washing clean Joseph. And he was well arranged. He was clothed in linen. He's not going to appear before the Pharaoh as a prisoner. Do you want to listen to me, daughter? Can I talk to you, my son? Your sorrow has to be somewhere. And every condition Now today I hear the voice calling you out of the dungeon. I asked to Pastor Wilson, when is the gathering starting? He told me it's Friday. But Friday had a commitment. I wanted to do one thing. That me as a general. You've given me the title I wanted to come earlier and do my part. 
wise come you will not comment about my service but today I speak to you the word from heaven today marks a distinction about your life from your entire family that day set Joseph distinct from all the other inmates that day distinguished Joseph from his 11 brothers and now for you today is setting you apart from the people you've been with on the way this day shall be memorable and you will never forget it because today heaven has endorsed whatever God has passed for your life today your ministry has been endorsed you have what to do today your poverty is gone wealth is your portion today heaven has endorsed whatever God has passed for your life Cuss shall never catch up with you today. Every omen, some of you are having spells weighing about six kilograms. But I want to tell you the devil will watch you as you go by. And the devil will inquire from who the are they? He has but never been my subject. Not anymore. And they will inform him Not anymore. they are no longer your subject. Not anymore. Not anymore. Will you shout hallelujah? Let an hallelujah, yeah, man. Now listen. God, when he calls you from the dungeon, you write your own job description. Pharaoh, the Pharaoh, the two dreams you had mean the same thing. The seven baskets that you saw, the health ones and the thin ones, the cows you saw, the thin ones and the fatter ones, all mean the same thing. The God in heaven is informing you that something is coming to you today. This whole land shall have a bountiful harvest, but it shall not last forever. And there shall be seven years of famine, severe famine. That shall make all the land and the neighboring lands to, to forget that there has ever been harvest here. And then he said, O king, the Pharaoh, this is what you're going to do. Dumb statement you will. Pharaoh, Korabot, Chogere. Chidamochi, Gojapuja Chitigas, Chidam, Chidama. Oh, did it? Oh, did it? Ah, Kati took and a quip panka panka, the two chicory and Dalla Nature panka panka with pants pants. Government. Museveni, or a boat, you get it. Pharaoh, this is what you are going to do. Look out for a wise man. 
Ala bidire ministre yo ye bi mere nensi bi nokupanga ne planning na chine ya chika chikolelecho. To be in charge of planning, stewardship. Akutera abami mubuli gombola na buli saza na buli chitundu echo gua chenseno. Let him have for you representatives from all the corners of this land. Bakola amasto amewana tereke mere. That they shall have granaries in every region. Omukungo yo era la gire o kuli misem mere miyaka jineta. And may that man order. Food to be grown in this years. Every income. And, and let there be a portion charged of every harvest from every man to be stored. And may all the stores be For five years of keeping a food. When that is done, that food will be enough to take you through the seven years of famine. Live long, O King, O Faigo. After he had spoken and bowed, he said, here I go. I have to go. The boy said, I have to go. Baba, Yusuf. And the Pharaoh said, oh, Joseph. Baba, Sebo, you mean Joseph, wait. You will be called. You shall be called. They will call you. Can we afford to find among a stars a man that is smarter and more spirited than this man? If anybody is so in our vision, that you can do what this young man is saying, raise up your hand. So can you lift your hand? Raise your hand to take up somebody's How dream? stupid can somebody be? How safe? How so narrow-minded can somebody be? How so if somebody says I have the plan to save Egypt find a man to implement it nobody could take it what had to be done was to change the seat and have another set for Jesus and Joseph will see to be set next to his today I speak to you as a prophet of God seats will be pushed there shall be adjustments made for you to fit it if you're happy for it receive it with a hand clap of praise. Ulira. Now listen. And the Pharaoh said. Genesis 41. 41. Today Joseph. I have set you all over. The kingdom or the empire of Egypt. Only in the kingdom will I be greater than you. Only in the kingdom. But in everything else, Egypt will listen to you. And Egypt will bow the knee for you as they do the Pharaoh. They will do it to you. And he said, Every one of you bow to Joseph. Now, question. Question. Now, 
Singa Yusuf. If Joseph Bamugamba was told that you're going to be the prime minister in Egypt. But these are the ways. You're going through the pit. You shall be sold in the world. You'll be jailed. Seventeen years. And therefore, you shall become a prime minister. Could he take the offer? So, the Kerao now, you're going to stop weeping and crying. Tell your neighbor, stop crying over situations. There is no way we can propel you to God's destiny for you without you. There is no kind of concrete that is never mixed. And there is no iron bar that is never squeezed. There is no iron bar that is not heat for the build. And there is no iron sheet that can roof without a nail. And there is no pole that can sustain a roof without a nail. Every nail that hits you. Every hammer that that is so you. Those are triggers pushing you to the kingdom. In the appointed time. In the appointed time. God will set you where he needs you. Take Raise your hands up. Every non-believer Get a hold of your bag and come If you're not born again, come over If you're not born again, come over Come to the front If you're not born again, Everybody raise up your hands as those come. Raise up your hands. Don't keep your eyes closed. But look to the heavens and raise your hands. Say, Dear Lord, my God. In the name of Jesus. I now understand today that you are leading me to somewhere. And all those that shout, the shouters, my haters and those that mock me, those that hate what I do, they are only pushing me into my destiny. Today, I surely understand that you are calling me. You are calling me up. Today, you are releasing me. I am free. Just as Joseph was brought from the cell, I also come out. I come out. I can hear the voice call me up. I will never go back. I have faced all the rejection. I have gone through being sold. I have been mocked. I have faced jail. I have gone through the visions. Now this is the time for me to walk in my rightful position that the heavens prepared my place that heaven apportioned for me. I receive it. 
I receive my position. I assume my position. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For releasing me. As a man of God. I release each one of you into your own destiny. I command each one of you to now go forth and occupy those places that God has destined. I release each one of you into those areas where God wants you to be. May God's purposes be fulfilled in your life. May the right husbands come your way. May the right wives be yours today. May you connect, may you be connected to the right people. I command your steps to be ordered as divinely possible as it could be. So, so that every step you take from today is a step into your destiny. May your struggles, may your struggles end tonight. Yeah.